hey guys you're welcome to another video in the last video we just basically got our dashboard to be working and kind of structured it a bit so in this video we're going to be adding a new contact the first thing i like to do is let's just get back to a sidebar and we're going to get rid of a lot of things so first of all this should be tech build so let's just get this typography to be tech builds and we'll let this nav be because it's handling the drawer for us and let's go up to the names the names the names yep here we have the list items and um, here we have a list item and all this list item have been looked through and then a divider and then a list item so what i want to do is i'm going to get rid of all this because basically we just need a very simple list with a couple of list items so let me get rid of this first one and um for this we are then we're going to leave just this and we are going to attach an on click event here all right and this on click event is going to be say load component or something load page right and we're going to do that here right after this so we're going to say const load page so now here we have this this load page and let me just do console.log you clicked me save that now let's get back to our browser just inspect elements all right so let's drag this a bit forward and now let's go to the console just click on the console and if i click on this you click me you click me you click me you click me so what we can do now is we are going to pass um, a couple of parameters to this function basically i'm going to pass two parameters the first is going to be an event the object event and then the next is going to be the page that we will be trying to load basically the route and so moving further what we can do now is because we are going to be passing parameters to this function we're going to pass a function here and that function is going to call this function and this function is going to take two parameters the event and our route and we're going to add the third parameter here which is going to be the text and um, so we can rapidly get rid of all this and let's ha have this one say something like um uh, this is going to be add contacts all right okay so let's have this say something like add contacts now this load page function we're going to pass the event we're going to pass the route we're going to pass the text so we're going to use a switch statement here a javascript switch statement and that switch statement is going to be based on a key and that key is going to be based on the text so if our text is going to say something like um um add contacts we're going to navigate so we're going to say props dot props all right dot history dot push and we are going to navigate to slash dashboard slash add contacts all right slash dashboard slash add contacts which is going to basically be our route so we can anyway i don't think we need this okay so we can get rid of this route since we are going by just the text so we can get rid of this route so we can just log the event console.log ev and now we have saved that and now let's see let's head over to the browser and now if i click here it tells us cannot read property history of undefined why mm, let's check that out again so i think i figured out why we are having this error and um, the reason why we're having this error is because we are trying to make use of props here we're trying to make use of these props but the problem is if i were to do something here like say console.log and i pass props and i commented this out and i saved that and i went back to our browser it's refreshed now if i clicked here you're going to see that the props is returning nothing so in order for us to be able to fix this we'll have to go down to our dashboard components here that has these props and we're going to pass the props down to our sidebar component so we're going to say props and we are going to pass props here to our sidebar component and now we head to our sidebar and we call this save that come over here i click here you can see it has it redirects us to dashboard slash add contact all right so so i'm just going to copy this and i'm going to call this uh, view contacts and we're going to go to slash view contacts and we are going to add a string to this array here and view contact save that and now we head back to the browser and we have this 
So if I click on view contact to redirect me to that route, add contact. So what we can now do is we want to be able to basically change the value of what we see here. All right, change the value of what we see here. So um, to do that, first of all, since we are just going to be working on the add content, and then um, I like to get rid of this, this item icons. And just let's let the list item remain. So uh, what I'm going to do now is in order for us to achieve that, we are going to go into our dashboard.js and right inside of our main content, we have this div here called classes.suba. I'm going to get rid of this whole typography thing here. And um, right here, we are going to use our switch, our switch component from React Router DOM, which we used here. All right, we're going to do something like this. So let's just import this from here and move that into the dashboard. And in our home, we are going to call our switch and this. And uh, we're going to pass this in here inside of our main, the switch and the route. So the default would be view um, content or something, or view contact, sorry. And um, this would be add contact, which is the first we're going to work on. So let's just um, call this add contact. And um, we can also add this to here. So let me copy this path. And um, every time this path is called slash view contact to, every time view contact to is called, let's display view contact and um, add contact here. All right, guys, so let's save that. We have our switch that does the routing for us. So now let's go ahead and create those components, the view contact and the add contact components. And we are going to do that inside our dashboard folder here. So let's just do view contact.js, right? Yep, view contact.js. And um, the one we're going to be working on in this video, add contact.js. All right, so for view contact.js, I'm going to just do a functional component. Oh, sorry, class based components. RC class, yep, view contact. And just have a bold tag here that says these are all the contacts for now. Just a dummy text. Later on, we'll fetch the data. And here we're going to go with the class based component tool. And we're going to have a bold tag here that says this is where we add contact. Save that. And um, it tells us view contact is not defined. That's because we have failed to import that in the dashboard. So let's go about importing that. So now we're going to import view contact from, it's going to come from, um, components slash dashboard slash view contact. And we're going to also going to import add contact. And uh, let's see, add contact. And this is going to come from components, dashboard, and add contacts. All right, so you can save that. And now that should do. Oh, sorry, guys, I actually missed out on something here. By adding the S because if we go back to our um, dashboard, let me close all that have been saved, and let me just go back to our, to our sidebar. Sidebar, you're gonna see that we are adding S at the end. Uh, where's that function that says with add contacts call slash dashboard slash add contacts S at the end? So we just have to add that S at the end here. Now, if I save that. Yep, we have, these are all the contacts. If I click on add contacts, view contacts, add contacts, view contacts. So now for adding up a new contact, we are going to um, kind of like add a form here. And um, really, I don't want to go through a lot of stressing of myself. So let's just go to add contacts with yes. And we're gonna draft a lot of things from our register. Register that's yes. Right here, we are going to Draft this whole thing here. Of course, we need to check the parameters for adding a new contact. So here we stop with this button and we just paste that in here. We have this div here. Okay, let me undo that again. Now, why was it crying some stinking error? Like, why? 
Oh, because probably we are using a lot of components that we have not imported. So let me import a lot of these components. Uh, let me import text field and button. Let me import text field and button here. And it says element div has no corresponding closing tag. Are you kidding me? Uh, first off, let me remove this break tag here. I can't understand why. What's the problem? Let me save that. All right. Let me see again. If I pull this off once again, I pull all this off. Save that, and it's not crying any error. Okay. Well, first of all, let me just copy all these functions. This handle change, which just helps us set the value. If you really don't understand this function, just go back and watch the register or the login, particularly the register where we register the new user. And we we'll need to move that into this class component. Handle change. And inside of this render, okay, let me let me copy them one after another thing. Copy this H1, paste this H1 here. And copy this, 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 this. Okay, oh, oh, because we did not close the form tag. So let's pass this here. And for now, we won't be needing this. All right, we have to save that. And uh, let's call this adding a new contact. Save that. And yep, you can see how that looks now. It looks pretty cool. Adding a new contact right here. We have view contact, I've added a new contact. All right, so for adding a new contact, the parameters we are going to be passing here are going to be a bit different. So let me go to the API. Now let's go to our API and let's check out the endpoints here. So for adding a new contact, all right, we'd have to go over to the function, contact add, and we would check out Ctrl P, sorry, Ctrl F, add contact here. And you can see that the only parameters that actually require are the first name and the phone number. But then there are other parameters too that can be passed, which is the phone number, the first name, the last name, the email, and the image. Uh, so phone number, first name, last name, email, and the file. So here we have first name, we have last name, we have email. We really don't need a password here now. Let's copy this now. First name, last name, email. We would need the phone number. So type here should be number and um, enter your exchanges to phone number, enter your phone number. And um, since the email is not compulsory, is email compulsory? Let's see what, uh, what is compulsory here. The only compulsory parameters are the first name and the phone number. So what we are going to do is we're going to get rid of this for the email. And we're just going to do only comp for just the first name. We're not going to require this for this either. So let's say first name, last name, email not required. Then not comp yep. Then here, this ID should be phone number. Label should be phone. Placeholder, enter your phone number. And then um, the last of them all is going to be the file that the user should upload. So we are going to create an input, an input element here. All right, an input element here. And it's going to have a type of file. And uh, if you save that, and now let's come over here, you can see this. Now, um, if you actually want to style this properly, you can just set this to display as none, then place a label here, or a, a label basically, design that label to look like a button. Then if that label is clicked, it gets the value of this. And um, before this video, I'm not going to be doing that. So what I'm going to do now is, for this input file, I'm going to throw a break tag here. So let's just add this break tag. So yep, so we have this input file to help us choose a file. So if I choose this, let me see. All right, so everything looks pretty cool. We have the first name, the last name, the email, the phone number. And we can as well select a file. So we want to change that register to add a contact here. So we're going to call this add 
a contact save that so the next thing we want to do is we're going to define our state in our constructor here so i'm going to say constructor and um, we're going to pass props here and super props super props so you're going to forgive me that i'll be doing a lot of copying and pasting because i'm kind of lazy sometimes so let's just get this here this is the state copy this and get back here and we're going to paste this in here so we have for the for the first name i don't know did we see the first name the last name the email the phone number and the input file so for this input file we're going to have an id here of um, file input okay so now let's just the email the first name the last name password no we don't need password so let's just call this file so we have the first name the last name so which is corresponding to this the first name the last name the email okay we're missing the phone number then the file so we're going to pass here the phone um phone number all right all right so we can now save that so guys everything looks pretty cool so um the next step we are going to take is for this input file we um basically are not going to be collecting the files directly so we're going to be converting the files to base 64 images to base 63 base 64 string because if we head down here to our api here uh let me see our api here um you can see here that we're actually collecting this image file as a string here you can see that we are saying if on if profile picture is not so basically request profile picture if this was an image we'll be um requesting it this way so we are now requesting the profile underscore image which we called it here so if profile underscore image is no we want to attach that name so but else you can see it's a b64 encoded string and we actually call it profile underscore image so we would have to change that here to profile underscore image so this file let's change that to profile image all right so um i think this video is getting a bit long so i'm going to end it here in the next video we are going to continue by um getting the once the user selects an image we're going to attach an on change event handler here. once it selects an image we're going to convert it to be 64 and then we are going to store it inside this state here inside this uh profile image state all right so that's it for this video